I can't believe it. The romantic vision of death with all that grass growing everywhere. I must admit you have a big imagination, but maybe not big enough. Death is much more simple. After a few months, it gets more interesting. Then after a year, it finally becomes romantic. Who are you? You don't like my face. Maybe you prefer this one. Too young, maybe. How about this one? Better no, but incomplete. Get them behind me. Sit down. Who are you to even think you can know the difference between good and evil? Are you God? Can you possibly imagine that God, the creator of heaven and earth, the source of all life, could possibly need you? I don't know. You don't think he's big enough to deliver his own messages? What do you want from me? Nothing. I'm here to set you free. I said smile. You have visitors. Thank you. If I stay on the side here, I won't bother you. No! No! No, you can't. You can't. Or else they won't come. Why won't they? Because I have to be alone. Oh. They won't come anyway. What do you mean, they won't come? Why won't they? Why won't they? Because I've, I've always been faithful to God, and, and, and I've followed everything he's ever said, and I've done everything he's ever asked me to do. God asked you to do something? You mean, God said, I need you, Sean? No, but he sent me signs. Signs? What signs? The wind. Wind. Wind? And the clouds, ringing. Itself. It can't just get there by itself. True. Every event has an infinite number of causes, so why pick one rather than another? There are many ways a sword might find itself in a field. Seems a perfectly valid explanation. But how about this one? But then again, there are other possibilities. Faster. 
And that's without counting the inexplicable. From an infinite number of possibilities, you had to pick this one. didn't see what was, John. You saw what you wanted to see. Gotta say God bless you.